Sure, I'm Jane Badler, and uh, I identify myself, define myself in many ways. I'm a mother, I'm a wife, and I'm an artist. I love creative collaborations, so I've done many things in my life. I'm an actress, uh, producer, writer, singer, and uh, I would definitely define myself as a highly creative person who loves creative collaborations. The very last thing I did was uh, I went into a studio, and uh, that was last week, and I uh, sung on a couple of tracks uh, for a record label in the UK, a dance record, and uh, I would say, even though I didn't write the songs, I interpreted it and put into it my own personality and my own interpretation of the songs. So uh, that'll be released next year. That's probably the last thing I made. Uh, I have so many different ways of expressing myself. Um, I could sit at the piano and write a song all by myself, um, or I could be on a set, but I, I think that I like to, I, I think I'm the kind of artist that likes to express myself when the muse comes, you know, when I feel this kind of urge to create. Uh, I'm not really good at sitting down and just doing it. I'm much more apt to uh, create when something happens in my life that inspires me. I feel so lucky uh, because um, when you when you ask that question, what uh, you know, what speaks to you creatively? Everything I've done has added to the dimension of myself as an artist. Even the things at the time were very, very difficult. And looking back, sometimes the most difficult projects are the ones that, in hindsight, I liked the most. Uh, what comes to mind right now is a, uh, a play that I did at a very prestigious theatre company here in Melbourne called Red Stitch. And I did a two-hander of a Neil Laboot play, uh, which had a lot of non sequiturs, 90 minutes on stage with another actor. And it was probably the most difficult uh, emotional, monumental uh, thing that I've ever done and the most uh, incredibly rewarding in so many ways. You know, I would honestly say that I think you can make in life, uh, when you ask like what is one thing that I haven't been able to achieve or do yet, um, I think you can manifest anything, and so I don't really have regrets about what I still want to do, although there's many things I still want to do, but I can't believe the things that I've done because I decided that I needed to do them. And with uh, acting, I was an actress, and then I moved to Australia, and the opportunities for acting were not as abundant for me here, so I had to recreate myself. and. Uh, and that moved me into music. And I manifested, decided I wanted to write an album, which is something I never did. And just through sheer force of will, I did it. And, uh, and that's kind of, was three albums later, and I toured and did lots of things. And now, <clears throat> now I'm moving into producing, uh, which is something I've always wanted to do, and I'm just making that happen for myself. So, I, I don't know, I think I'm pretty happy with, um, with all the huge challenges that are awaiting me right now in my life. But <clears throat> I'd like to see one of my projects uh, manifest itself. One of my, t I'm pitching a TV project right now and I'd love to see that manifest itself so I can be part of a creative team and, and act. You cannot, if you are a creative person and you want to create, you cannot wait for someone to give you that opportunity. Um, because no one's going to hand it to you. And what I've learned is that you have to create your own projects. Uh, you can get out there and, you know, I don't know whether you're an actor or you're a sculptor or you're a f photographer, you find other like-minded people and you get together and you just do it. You just make things, you create plays, you create films, um, because otherwise you're never going to be happy if you're going to sit back and wait for people. Uh, and that's 
really the thing that I've learned the most.